another thing you'll get good at is reading trail signs so you can be on a well-used trail and still get off trail because you'll come to a switchback and lots of people have made a mistake and gone straight so there's actually a trail going straight that will eventually turn into a dead end because they figured out they were going the wrong way and that'll help you figure out you're going the wrong way so a lot of trail managers will put rock across those areas wood whatever you just have to know to look for it and not just step over it and keep on trucking which you know i i'm a daydreamer so i do that a lot <laughs> you'll come to uh, a lot of rocky sections on a through hike where you have to follow rock cairns sometimes for miles so you just have to keep looking it's like playing i spy you know you stop till you find the next one go to it find the next one doesn't hurt if it's a confusing area to build one for people coming behind you if you know that is the way it should be going so reading trail signs you know in the snow i remember on the pct getting into a snowstorm and you know i didn't know the area i did lose the trail and uh, trying to follow it i was following animal tracks so deer especially uh, you know they know where the trail is and they use it all the time and so oftentimes if you get into snow you can follow animal tracks and it'll kind of keep you on the straight and narrow can't always rely on it they'll run off in some direction for some reason and you'll run off with them but in most cases they even use the switchbacks they don't cut switchbacks in the snow and uh, i've found that time after time so again it's just experience it's not probably something you're going to read or learn anyway than just be out hiking paying attention don't daydream like me and uh, you'll stay on the trail keep smiling